We're running out. I'll start making press. We'll want. The tribe. If not, gather your. You must. Sijiks must be wine drinkers. I brought Lathan back, and what does Valsoran do? I knew... And trust me. This is Arteum. Raz is impressed, and truly frightened by the very strange sky. Ah, here comes your friend now. Just remember, you were never here. Raz and Dar's... For a place that doesn't like... Raz never... Raz knew... Tower truly functionally. Simply put, Terrific father to our daughter, Nathan. I'll never forget that. You were always Elderway's hero, Val. I envied the way she looked up to you. I'm sorry, Nathan. I should have been there with you. With her. At the end. You were trying to save her. I know that. It was just... Damn it. We need to win this, Val. This shrine, Val and I built it for our daughter after she died. High elves don't bury their dead, but we needed something to remember her by. She loved climbing this tree before the illness took her. I forgot how beautiful. With the city, the court, not in the least. Things will never be the same between me and Lathan again. But I think we understand each other a little better now. Funny how the approaching end of the world has a way of putting everything into perspective. I've been a member of the Sijic Order for more years than I can remember. But this is the first time since my daughter's illness that I've been truly frightened about what's to come. The world ends all the time. It's just that I'm more accustomed to that being a personal event, and not a shared experience. The world ended when the Reich Master died, for example. You have a way of instilling confidence, my friend. You're similar to the Reich Master in that regard. If we can't have him at our side for this, I'm glad to at least have you. I just hope we can see our way through this. I'll meet you at the cave.
Hey guys, Dr. Z. Okay, one of the big outstanding questions right now in the whole COVID-19 thing is how fatal is it and how many people have already been infected? And the answers to those questions have been stunningly hard to get. It's only been a few months, but still we don't have that data. And now we're starting to get some signal. So. Over the last couple of days, uh, Stanford pre-released, it hasn't been peer reviewed yet, a study where they looked at 3,300 people in Santa Clara County. That's the, Talk to the me when you're Valley, ready to one of the hot spots in California, where they screen them, the not based on the nasopharyngeal swab that people talk hey, about, where it's a rapid you know, it's a nasal talked. test and you're looking for I the genetic material that shows Mithala. that you're actively infected. She's ready to appear if you're willing to lower the And you've heard people talking about this. What this shows is when you're infected with the virus, you Let us open a path and not keep the to fight off the virus. And you can measure those in the blood. It usually takes a week or more to develop those. So when you screen people for those antibodies, assuming so the test the is seal, good, you're looking for people God. who have been infected in the past and they may have gotten you. better, right? So it's a way to figure out if you're Mahala, sampling the random population will you how many honor people the agreement really actually got it, with this whether mortal. they had symptoms or not. And when I they did it at Stanford, they found something kind of surprising. Now, depending on for the mortal who consistently avoids the tangles of my webs. We have much to discuss. The entire population of Santa Clara County projected based on what they studied on 3,300 patients has it been exposed you to are infected strangely with COVID consequential Now, for a mortal. clearly, most of these people are not having symptoms or are mild. Remember, if these any are not of so you stray too far from the protection of the resolute anchor, you'll words, be lost the in the nothingness between realities. Hospitals and clinics have done and know that I will be watching. So, so it, there are Could many, many more people I that have been infected spider. that have not shown up to medical care and have not had it documented. Now it's my Which turn. Means something very Let important. Let me use the gift my master How gave you, and I'll get you to the crystal this? tower. The numbers that you've seen the heart and restore the, and the crystal known as transparent law. Fatality rate. But remember, that means of the need people a who present to them to energy medical care to and get tested, that, that thousand Nathan, in the Bay Area, promise me you'll keep what them percentage safe. of those are dying? I promise. And we've heard really scary Oriandra, numbers from, you know, like die, 0.9%, world, which is, know you know, if you think that's normal flu season is 0.1% fatal. If you get flu, 0.9 is, you know, quite a bit higher than that all the way up to like 4%. And in Italy, very high numbers, because Italy is one of the, has one of the oldest populations in the world, and we know it affects old people. So people who are showing up to the hospital. But people talking about this, what this shows is when you're infected with the virus, you will create antibodies to fight off the virus. And you can and measure those in the blood. Usually it takes a week or more to develop so those. So when you screen people for those antibodies, assuming your test is good, you're looking for people who have been infected in the past and they may have gotten better, right? So it's a way to figure out if you're sampling the random population, how many people really actually got it, whether they had symptoms or not. And when they did it at Stanford, they found something kind of surprising. Depending on which numbers you believe in, how accurate the test is, Somewhere between 2.5 to 4 percent of the entire population of Santa Clara County, projected based on what they studied in the of patients, has been exposed and infected with COVID-19. Now, clearly, most of these people are not having symptoms, or if they are, they are not. These are not necessarily people who are showing up in the hospital because the total case rate, in other words, the confirmed testing that say hospitals and clinics have done is around a thousand at this time. This is like April 19th. So if you are many, many more people that have been infected that have not shown up to medical care and not documented, which means something very important. How fatal is this? The numbers that you've seen reported in the news and the realms are what they call the police fatality rate. That means of the people who present to medical care and get tested, that thousand in the Bay Area. What percentage of those are going to be heard really scary numbers from you know, like 0.9 percent to something that's normal to lose is about 1 percent fatal. You get through 0.9 is you know, quite a bit higher than that. All the way up to like 4 percent very high numbers because Italy is one of the has one of the oldest populations in the world and we know it affects old people. So people who are showing up to the hospital, if they're older, they're having a very high mortality rate. But that's a case fatality rate. That's for people who are already sick enough to show up and be tested. So what happens? I don't remember on the diamond 
Princess Cruise, it was more like five of them. They tested almost everyone on the ship, so they had a bigger number to look at. More like five. But that was a closed area, and maybe an older population. Everybody's really tight. So, what could they figure out the case mortality rate might be extrapolating from the state of Santa Clara County? Well, now you're looking at a much lower uh, mortality rate because you're looking at the infectious fatality rate. In other words, of all the people who've been infected, whether or not they showed up to the clinic and were diagnosed that way, what's the overall mortality rate? And the Stanford uh, researchers actually said that in, in their study, they're getting more like 1 to 0.2 percent. Swine flu is around 0.2. A normal flu season is around 0.1. Of course, it's happening all at once. And again, I'm not sure I fully believe those numbers for the following reasons. They're still quite a bit lower. And I think the overall number is going to be quite a bit lower. And the reason is this. In this particular study, there are a couple of major flaws. One is, how good is this test? It turns out antibody tests have been controversial because you, to get them right, you have to study them in a lot of positive patients to make sure that when you test a positive patient, it comes up positive. So in other words, is it sensitive? But then you also have to test it in a population of people you know are negative and make sure that that test is negative. So in other words, how specific is the test? If you get a negative person and a negative test, that's positive. If you get a negative person and a positive test, that's what we call false positive. Now, in this study, a false positive rate is high. Artificially elevated the number of patients that are positive for the disease, which means we can express the how many people have been exposed. Now, what's interesting about this piece is they actually looked at the test they were using. It's a blood test, and they actually studied it in about 30 positive patients and 80 negative patients, and they found that it was in that population 100% specific, meaning all the negatives showed up negative. And actually, it was a completely sensitive study. There were 30 um, positive patients, only 28 of them tested positive. So it, it was actually not fully sensitive, so you're actually missing some positive patients. So it might even possibly be that you're underestimating the true prevalence of the disease. Now, the other downside what of this particular mess. study, and again, it hasn't had the peer review yet, uh, oh, is well. that Let's they use Facebook ads to recruit patients for the study. So you'd see us ad that basically said, hey, do you want to be tested Doctor for COVID well, and the blood and see if you're immune or something like that? Inside. We don't know exactly what they said. Remember well, that's going to follow the study because people who are already concerned, maybe they've had an exposure, maybe they've had some this symptoms, maybe they're worried about it, like their friends have it. The well, interior that's a population that might be enriched and people who are more likely to be infected that would skew perfectly. the results. So it's another reason that you can't fully take any data at face value. You have to be very critical and look at it very, very carefully. But let's say that it's roughly correct. Well, that means that this particular illness may be less fatal than previously reported, more widespread, so already all over the place. And therefore, we have to think about when we're talking about social distancing, which is great, how do we start to weigh the damage of all this lockdown versus the benefit in terms of saving lives? You have to take your infectious mortality rate into consideration. So we need data so far, we haven't really had it. Hopefully studies like this, there are more occurring with WHO and others that are going to be measuring this, and it'll help us understand when we can safely reopen. And also, was our response the correct response given what we ultimately learn about this virus? Now, one thing I'll say is this. It's very clear that this thing favors healthcare workers, clear as day, because you're putting sick patients into a healthcare environment and exposing frontline healthcare workers who have very little protection, at least in areas where it's short. And so that population is specifically at risk and has every right to scream and yell about how they've been put in danger by this thing. And if anything, by putting them at risk, you amplify the infectious rate because they go home and make other people sick in theory. So we need to protect our frontline healthcare workers. We need more data like this. We need to validate and study these antibody tests to see if they actually work. And then we need immunological data to say, 
do those antibodies actually mean you're immune to the disease? In which case, you get a little card saying you're good to go, go back to work, and you know, you've been through it already. So that being said, I uh, just wanted to summarize. Hey guys, Dr. Z. Okay, one of the big outstanding questions right now in the whole COVID-19 thing is how fatal is it and how many people have already been infected? infected? And the answers to those questions have been so, over the last couple days, uh, Stanford, we get a study that will be able to do a degree on critical people in Santa Clara County, that's the area of the Silicon Valley, the hotspots of California, where they screen them down based on the nasal screen for Bob that we talked about, where it's a graphic scene of the nasal screen. It's, it's blood, blood antibody test. test. And you've heard people talking about this. What this shows is that when you're infected with the virus, you create antibodies to fight off the virus. You can measure those, those lives. It usually takes a week or more to develop. So, so when you screen people for those antibodies, so your test is good, but you're looking for people who have So, so it's a way to figure out So, so what, what happened, happened then, on, remember on the Diamond Princess Cruise, it was, it was more like 0.5%. Like they tested almost everyone on the ship, so they had a bigger number to look at. It was more like 0.5%. Now, that was a closed area of Afghan, maybe an older population, and everybody's really tight. Did make a wrong turn? So, what did they figure out the case for? It's really it appears to be reconfiguring uh, itself. Let's get moving before the tower remakes this, the tower remakes this platform out of existence. Rate. I have the right to see more evidence of this whether or not it showed up the higher we climb. And we're diagnosed that way. What's the overall mortality rate? And the Stanford uh, researchers actually say that in, in their study, you extrapolate that it's more like 0.1 to 0.2%. Swine flu is around 0.2. Look at this season. Is around one. One. Where are the ceilings coming up all at once? Yes, yes, but what I'm happened sure to the shadow saviors? For the following they reasons. were thick as crows on the lower levels. Level. And I think the overall number is going to be quite important. The reason is this. In this particular study, there are a couple of major flaws. One is, is how good is this test? It turns out that antibody tests have been controversial because you, to get them right, you have to study them in a lot of positive patients to make sure that when you test a positive patient, it comes up positive. So in other words, is it sensitive? But then you also have to test it in a population of people you know are negative and make sure that that test is negative. So in other words, how specific is the test? If you get a negative person and a negative test, that's perfect. But if you get a negative 
person and a positive test. That's what you call a false positive. Now, in this study, a false positive rate that's high is going to artificially elevate the number of patients in that 3300 that are positive for the disease. Which means it's going to overestimate how many people are exposed. A walking volcano? of the disease. Now, now the other downside, downside of this particular study, study again, it hasn't had, had, had a review yet, uh, yeah. is that they use you Facebook ads. ads I don't know how you entered the tower, patients for the but study. you must so get out here. Yeah. Hey, hey, she's want still, want still alive. alive. We have to go. No, blood no stay back. Like that. The we relic that exactly protects me. Well, that's not a biased study because people who are already concerned. She's right. Look how she's starting to fade. Maybe they're worried about it, their friends have it. Well, that's a population that might be enriched and people who are more likely to be infected. Please, before not turn off. So it's another reason that you can't fully take any data. I don't want to die. Very critical to look at it very, very carefully. But let's say that it's rough on the Well, that means that this is particular illness. Maybe it's Think less of your loved ones. Picture their faces as my magic would have been all over the place. I see them. We have to think about the when pain. we're talking about social distancing. This is great. How do we start to I can see the damage of all the lockdown versus the damage in terms of saving lives? The last lives. moments were you peaceful. You have to take your infection fatality rate into consideration. The magic that held back the shadows is gone. So, so we They'll need be upon us before we know data it. to make good decisions when it comes to public health. Now, so far, we haven't had a whole when they say we and also was our response on response it's very clear that this is a response to the healthcare environment and exposing from the health workers who have very little protection, at least in the areas where it's short. And so that population is by this thing, and if anything, by putting them at risk and amplify the infectious risk because they go home and make up a little six in theory. So we need to protect our frontline health care workers. We need more data like this. We need to validate and study these antibody tests to see if they actually work. And then we need to need a lot of data to say, do those antibodies by actually get a little hard and you're good to go, go back to work, and you know, you've been through it already. So, so that being said, uh, I just wanted to summarize the level you guys subscribe to the bell for Welcome to another Megram COVID-19 update. They have a lot of news to cover today. The United States tops the charts with the number of new deaths at 1,867. United States daily new cases. Hey guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Undying Beast. Yeah, this is Akuma Kira's submission for the Okay, PS1 Red Weekend game jam thing. Basically, the game devs had like a weekend to make a horror game. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few of these. So the first one is Undying Beast. Let's go ahead and accept our death. death. I accept that. Uh, 
I, I, I lost my vote. Has my dog Danny in it? Whoa, whoa, I the arc was right. That, that is the bullet stop. It's, it's not broken, it's, broken. it's just it's missing a few parts. Around. Okay. This moves very interestingly. Like, like, and like a, a weird bead and wah wah. Thank you, anybody. But, uh, uh, well. Set up the office. I have foam coming, so the echo is going to be going away soon. Where we get to cut that thing? Happen in the center. And then there's a screen. Game ever. <laughs> Unjustly slain, the beast rose again. Their motive was yes, yes, yes. yes. Really, really good. Yeah. Like, I always I love his sound design. Sound. Like, I don't have those woody powers. It's even more tragedy. Their time did come so quickly. Like, like not now. See what happens if I get all flowers. Uh. Oh, I don't like that. The beast is hurting fate just by existing in this absence, haunted in nothing but an empty void. Bro, what are you?
way to do it. Pull inward to the beast, tearing its form uh, into itself. The eternal beast would die. Ripperonies. Whoa! Is this, is this the, the beast? Ending one of two. Damn it. Okay, let's go. Let's find all my flowers. playing the game so I can get the flowers. I'm just yeah, yeah, noticing more and more like, like crazy things. Yeah, anyway, go to the, the next thing. Like,
accident there. Let's go ahead and run up to here. Run up to here. I really like how there are some um, just freaky, spooky, spooky, babadooky monsters. What the fuck? Run around the mist. It's like, you just totally miss. You can totally like, miss them. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think that's a really cool, uh, like a little sneaky feature. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Thank you. The next one. This was called The House in the Woods. Uh, on October 22nd, 1999, Daniel Leonard and his friend Heather Miranger went missing while on a camping expedition. Like I said, despite the ground and aerial search, they were never found or something like that. Cool. Also, weren't those, weren't those the names from the, the kids and their witch? Can you guys see? Yeah, you, you can see. your body. Yeah. Bro, what are you oh. doing? Is that the end? Yeah. This is loop. That was really good. Like, 
very short and sweet, and it exactly is the Blair Witch game. But I was super duper into that. She did something to control. Hey, here's our camping site. So yeah, I think it just loops again. Yeah, I thought that was great. I was, I was like super aesthetic. I wish there was like one final like scare at the end. Like the camera falls on the ground, like in the movie. Or something. I don't know. Again, these are game jam games. So like I'm sure the dad wanted to add more. Just kind of ran out of time. I thought that was super nice. Okay. Cool. Do another one. This one's called that small island blue. Is this leaving? Gone. Okay. Go that should keep the for, for a short, short time, time at least. Oh, um, why, why are you going? Okay, okay. Does it hold? Yeah, it does. Yeah. I can't go back until I finish my job at the lighthouse. Okay. Hey, buddy. I like the way this looks. Like little books, lady people. I like this face. Welcome back to the island. Thanks, bro. bro. Yeah! <laughs> Just like sitting there poking a cat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Give it, give it, give it to me. Well, delicious to have some something to get rid of. Not a champion. At least for a little while. Beyond, beyond that, examine. I really, I really did. You waste some wood. Not a turtle. I might be really I should be there. Tell her. Empty no clothes. We should. I never say overnight. Okay. There's nothing more we can do here. Not much of a reader. Are you? Week 35. So the first one was week 6. I don't know if that popped up on OBS. Okay, so I guess I'm back out here again. I'm just going to something creepier and creepier. Oh, back at it again. Aren't you tired? Uh, no. Is there any of these blood red trees? Like that. Yeah. Bro, it's been weeks. It's been like months at this point. I want one. Give it to me. God.
picks. But blue to land, blue to land. A bit of dust here. Later, tater. See you next week. Well, hope it was worth it. My job. Week 134. Bro, you have a murderous aura about you. I can see your killer intent. So they're just like calling me out of the island for no reason. It also looks like Patty Mayonnaise from Doug. Thank you. Be careful. For everything. Yeah, let's go talk to the fucking fisherman down here. Can say something creepy and cryptic to me? No, that is just that is just blatantly ominous and threatening. I thought he was gonna say something like, you'll be back. Six, Jesus. That kid's gonna be dead. Still alive. He's looking a little better. I think I know what happened to Bella now. What? Fill me in. What happened? <laughs> Looks like Patty Mandy's mom. No, 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 no. Looks like uh, Helga Pataki's mom from Doug. Not Doug. Uh, you know the. the Oh, 
What? Oh, I see. I guess after all this time, the classics had to change. We would. Anything different in here? Good job. I just have to. Oh no, is that the kid? He's like in a sleeping bag. I never say overnight. dude. One more. How about that? This one's called Bleach Shirt. Now, this is actually by one of the hosts of the entire game jam. So, uh, link for all the games I'm playing today are going to be in the description as well for like the full catalog of the jam. There's a lot, there's a shit ton of games. So, I'm going to be doing a few of these. Especially because all the ones I played today so far have been mwah, fan fucking tastic. Really enjoyed all these. Orla left an odd voicemail. The sound kept cutting out, so I didn't catch it all. Hey, honey. I'm zzz, I zzz. <laughs> Be home, zzz, I am zzz, bleak shores. Zzz. Love you, zzz. So I guess I came to the shore to find if she's okay. It's probably nothing. I probably shouldn't have come here. Well, that part is true. Here I am. It's kind of like... If Silent Hill was like a beach town, what the fuck is 